All right, we're back. Okay, I think I got to squirt what we're doing on the other side of the bike. Now we're on this side of the bike. So I got the uh, headlight bracket came in. It goes up here. So it mounts up there, and you got to put the big ass headlight up on top. I got a shock coming. It goes on the front for uh, a shock to keep it from pogling. There's the headlight in here. It's a nice black light. So that'll be here end of the week sometime, middle of the week. This here's the regulator mount and oil filter. It goes right here. So the filter goes down low, regulator mounts on top. See, let me that stupid bracket used to be on there. So that takes care of that problem. I'll have to run custom oil lines, obviously, but no big deal. So we'll get to it. So, that leaves a big bugaboo we got to deal with the back end right now. So I ordered up a new rear wheel, 16 inch black, stock replacement for the 73 to 83 wheel, which is this one here. So instead of dealing with this thing, I'll just sell the whole wheel as a unit and not deal with it. Got a new wheel coming, so I'll just take out the hub and I'll, uh, I'll get this 18 in there, spoke it all up and put that together. We'll have a nice a new black hub in there to deal with. And then I'll just take uh, the leftover parts and I'll make another black wheel for uh, a bike. I'll make another wheel like that. I'll put a star hub in it and I'll have all the black rim and stuff. So I'll put the rest of the wheel back to use on something else. That way there's no wasted parts, which is good. Uh, for a tire, I got two different tires I can use. I got this Carl, um, Carlisle, I think it was. Or is it Continental? Uh, one or two. Oh, there it is, Continental. Which happens to be the same tire that was on the bike, except that's a 16, it's an 18. So this is an old, original, new tire. And then I have this uh, Avon tire here, skinny one. And that kind of matches the front tire, which is a Pirelli, tread pattern wise. So I'm leaning toward putting this one on there, even though I'd like the looks of this one better. They don't reproduce that stuff, so you have to use old parts. If you want to have old tires, you got to use old stuff. I am not going to use that good skid, though. That's junk. Which is the same one on this bike here, I think. Or this is a dumb up. This one's probably a dumb up. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, got something written over here. Silver something. Is that what that says? No, I don't know what it is. Probably a silver seal done up. Original tire back in the day. All right, so the uh, I'm leaning toward the drum brake swing arm, and we're going to put struts on it, I think. And uh, I think this uh, Fat Boy front fender is winning the uh, fender option. The uh, Sportster swing arm and the two FX swing arms here are basically, I think, are going to get retired out of the game here. Now for shocks, I got this set at 12 and a half inch length right now, which gives me a good rake on the bike. If you get back far enough, you can see that. So I kind of like that dimension. <clears throat> now Dynaglide shocks are 12 and 5 eighths, which is pretty close. And I think that's what one of these shocks was. This one here is the Dynaglide shock. So this is the 12 and 5 eighths. So it goes on there like that. There you go, but that is butt ugly. I'm trying to uh, be narrow and skinny and better looking, so that's not going to happen. This here is a 12 inch FX shock, and this one here is probably the matching one for it. So these are probably two that came off the bike, I'm guessing, or two more I dug out of the pile. So I don't like these. So these we're not going to use unless we need some springs. Yeah, see there's the two that came out of the pile on the bike. These are different ones. Okay, here's my strut. One strut. You notice know, so I don't give us quad about scratching that chrome. Yeah, there we go. Here's a fender bracket. We're gonna toss it one of these for the exhaust. I ain't using that stupid tensioner. Ah. So the uh, junk pile is getting wadded down. We still got the junk pile here to get rid of though. Okay, so this is the other strut. Shot getting away. 
Yeah. So now you leave shocks laying on a hill, they chase after you. Okay, so let's see if this exhaust bracket is anywhere near what I need. I don't think it's gonna be, but yeah. Mm, you can make it work. It might work. I'll we'll have to bend it around and it'll let me run a clamp right here and a clamp right here. That'll be enough to hold the pipe on. So I might use that bracket. I'll have to do some tweaking on it, but I know how to do that. Okay, so, so these are original uh, flat fender struts from today. So this is the left, the right one. This is the left one. So this goes up in here, and the shock stud throws into it, and then the, that bolt goes through. So that's the strut we're going to try to use. Now I don't want to use these shocks that are ugly. Now you can take these shocks and take these stupid chrome covers off. And they'll probably make them look a lot better. But Dynaglide shocks are very thinly sprung. <clears throat> they bounce real bad because they're not made for the weight of the FL FX chassis. Because the the pivot location for the shock are in different locations to what they use on Dynaglide, so it needs more tension. Basically, the wheel has more leverage on the shock, so it needs a stiffer spring. It's not the overall weight of the bike, it's just the leverages. Now, I went on eBay and found this set of shocks that looked a lot better to me. So, this is what I kind of want to put on the bike. The problem is these are supposed to be 8mm springs and they come in as 7mm springs. These are 8mm springs. I think it's what these were, or are these the same thing? Yeah, these are bigger. So, these are going to be really light. So, but I can take these apart and put springs off of this or all the FL on there and stiffen them up and probably work. The dampers will be low on the light side, but Harley never has dampers where it's a squat anyway, so who cares. So these are 12 and a half inches. The eighth inch difference here is about a half inch over here on the, road, on the height because of the leverage ratios. Now I cannot put the shock way in tight like I wanted because it bottoms out. The, the round part here hits up on the frame, and then this bracket here will hit on the side. So even though I like to put it like, like right here, it should be nice and thin, tucked in nice and clean, I can't do that. I am going to have to come out at least a half inch up here to make it all work. The other problem is these are metric in here, and I need American, so i got to cut 15 thou out of these holes. And these have got some kind of an air valve in here, so I don't know if that's like an air shock where it makes it stiffer or if it just makes the dampening different. Or it's just cosmetic. Being China crap, it's probably just cosmetic. I ain't holding my breath. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I need to work on this to figure out what I'm going to do on this because if I'm, if I'm going to return these, I'm going to have to return them right away. So I've already had them for a week, so I need to work on it. So, I got two shocks here, and I'm getting some tools. That's uh, an extra bushing for something, I don't know what. Okay, so this is my shock stud department. So we have to go in here and find some studs that we can use that are nice and short, like this one. And only about a half inch thick, like this one. It might actually fit an FL frame like this one it might fit. Look at that. Looks like they made that for me. Now, has that been butchered so this will fit on here or not? That has not happened yet. Okay, so I think that's going to be the winner up there. And if we put a little washer on the inside, we'll give that a little extra we need. And I'll put a couple washers on over this side to take up the slack. Or I'll actually just take this and turn it down and re-thread it and make it shorter. This one's too long. Okay, so we got one here that will kind of work. You know, it doesn't match it up almost perfect. I looked at it, I had one. Of course, we only have probably one. Most of the stuff I have one of, not two of. But if you have a sample, you can make another one. See, there's a Sportster shock. See, the Sportster frame's a lot narrower. See, that won't work there, but that'll fit down here, though. So, the short length here works on the bottom.
So I'm going to wind up butchering some stuff, some stuff to make it work. Those look pretty good right there. <clears throat> These are probably stock first for parts. Yeah, I need two hands. I can't do everything with one hand. Ah, damn camera. Right, let's go on over here. Okay, somebody's been screwing up my stand over here. Okay, so it all looks like it's good. I think somebody's been dicking around with my tripod here. There it goes. Hey, dumbass, put the camera stand correctly. It works just fine. It's hard to get good help these days, let me tell you. Especially when it's me. Okay, so. I'm going to look over here at this pile of crap. This looks like Sportster stuff. Basically, we're making a big Sportster, right? Skinny, light, and fast. Okay, so that looks like that'll work for the back wheel. Let's see. How many do we have in here? Appears to have two different ones there. Okay, so this two is a set. They're short. This one here is longer. So we, I think we need the extra length maybe for the swing arms. We have to see. Okay, so we're still going to be screwed, see? So we have to go back over here and look up how big the swing arm is right here. And yeah, I think we can catch, we'll catch a couple threads. I can't tell what the camera's seeing there because I'm holding the camera stand at a weird angle. Okay, so that might work for there. Close enough for me. And it still does not fit in there because these are not half inch. Okay, so I think these two will work for the swing arm. And we even have the nuts right there too, which is a big plus. So we get the two factory nuts to use too. It's got all that vintage crappy looking patina on everybody likes. Including me. They're not chrome, that's a big plus. We might clean this stuff up or maybe we'll just leave it all nasty looking. What do you think? Leave it nasty or make it look nice? Nice being you paint it silver or black. Not chrome. Okay, let's see if these studs will work here. There you go. It's the right length. It's this is way long enough top, which I don't like, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Okay, so it looks like this set of sports just are going to work on a big one now. Unless I can find something better. You see where the threads are kind of, kind of bad up here? That's all right, we'll just cut those right off and it won't be a problem. Okay. So I'm going to look through the junk pile here and see if we got one more of this one here, short stud on it. Or maybe we find something better, you never know. There might be something better in there. There's a lot of things in here. Here's another one of these. So there's another short one. At one time I had these kind of sorted all the same, but that was a long time ago. Here's one I cut down. Custom application. What else do we got in here? Ooh, that looks close. Not a long one though. Not helping much, I already got that length. There we go. We got two of them, short. I like short better than long. Okay, so 
So instead of using these big long ones now, they've got that ugly ass nut sticking out there. We can just use little short ones here. Okay, so there we go. We found two of something that matches. Amazing. Damn, look how long that thing is. Look at that damn semi truck. Jeez, who knows? I know I got two of them though. I wonder if those fit. Something late and big. Take a quick look through and see if there's anything else we like better. You never know. There might be something that we like. This one the threads are kind of screwed up on. These are five A's, so I'd have to turn these down, but I'm not above doing that. Now this is non Harley Davidson stuff over here. Weird, a bunch of weird crap stuff to get on bikes. We got a flip style kicker lever. I hate these things. There we go. A real kicker lever. Nice low offset. That's more like it. And of course, we have a genuine Harley one that's been modified. So that's a prime candidate to use on the bike. We got to do some more crawl. It's already been modified, so we don't care about being original. It is an original one. Probably for a Sportster. Yeah, Dash 54 would be for a Sportster. No, it could be for a big twin. A big twin, too. Yeah, so. Looks like a good weld. It needs to be straightened, though it's bent. But, oh, maybe we'll use that. Who knows? You never know what I'm going to use. Use all kinds of weird stuff. Bunch of junk. Okay, so we've got enough pieces here that we can um, attempt to do something. So I guess the first thing I do is go cut these shocks out to make them usable. Do you think they're going to notice it's been modified? Do you think I care? Okay, so we're going to open these holes up to half inch. Alright, we'll be back. <laughs> 